This week's Farm Basics is brought to you by SatShot.com. Satellites aren't just for NASA anymore. Use the power of satellite imagery to create variable rate management zones in your fields. To reduce input costs and increase yields on your farm, go to SatShot.com. During our Farm Basics time today, we wanted to talk a little about lodging. This isn't about your vacation this summer, <laughs> is it, Brian? Why, yes. You're you know, still a little I, bitter I about the price online, of hotels. Yeah. <laughs> no, what lodging means when it comes to farming is when your crop falls over. And obviously, that's a bad thing. <laughs> so we wanted to talk through some of the reasons why this happens, the crops that are particularly susceptible to lodging, and what farmers do to prevent it. Okay, first of all, you may be asking yourself, wait a minute, if a crop falls over, is it dead? Or can it still make some yield? Uh, well, not all the time that a crop falls over it dies. Sometimes it does die. Sometimes it just kind of bends over and makes it really difficult for farmers to harvest that crop and to get the grain picked up. So, yeah, so lodging could be a really, really bad thing. It could just be kind of a pain to try and get harvest done. Yeah, harvest can be a real problem with this lodging issue. To give you a couple examples, right off our farm in 2008, we had some wheat go down because of strong wind and rain. In 2004, we had some corn go down and because of trees. very strong Wind. And some trees. Yeah, out over here. over at my place, it happened to be the worst for that one spot. Fortunately, I wasn't home, so I, I otherwise I would have thought yeah. a tornado was going through. There we had go. 95 mile an hour straight line winds come through our farm that year, and it just flattened stuff so much so that we had to combine fields literally at less than one mile per hour. And normally we can combine at five miles per hour. So you can imagine how much that slowed down harvest. Well, I guess just to add to that too, a lot of times in corn, if there's a lot of lodging. Uh, a farmer has to harvest just one way in the field. So instead of driving up, turning around, driving back with the harvester and combining corn on the way back, a farmer might have to turn around and drive through where he's already harvested, come back and go the same way again to do it because that corn is leaning so bad you just can't pick that corn up and, into the harvester. And whatever you do, there's a lot of corn that ends up falling on the ground, so you lose yield right there, plus the fact that the corn then becomes a weed in the next crop that you plant the following year. Well, let's talk about why that corn is falling down, because one of the reasons now, obviously if you've got 95 mile an hour winds, lots of things are gonna tip over, but you see fields every year of corn that are just laying over, especially in certain parts of the field. And you may wonder, well, wait a minute, why is this guy's corn on this side of the road laying over, and just across the road, there's corn that's standing really nice and tall. Well, I visited the world record corn producer in 2002 and I asked him about this very same question because his corn, well, the stalks look like tree trunks and he told me they what weren't varieties. literally that big, they, but they were much bigger. They, they than were much corn. bigger than, than just the neighbor <laughs> right across the fence. And I said, well, what's the difference? Because obviously this guy's got about the same hybrids that you've got. And he said, yeah, in fact, he might plant the exact same hybrid as me and I'm going to get a thicker stock than him. So it's going to stand better. And I said, how can that be? It all comes down to fertility. And he said, the main thing with fertility that I've found is potassium. If I get my potassium right, get my crop to be able to extract enough potassium out of the ground, I get a thicker stock than what my neighbor does who doesn't put as many plant nutrients out on his field. So plant nutrients can play a big role in how healthy that stock is and how well it's going to stand through the year. Well, another thing that ends up happening when the corn lodges is it ends up getting disease problems. You can have insect problems. Like I said earlier, some of the crop starts falling down. All those things end up hurting yield. So it's a major issue on farms. It's something that all of us farmers are trying to prevent. And like Darren said, a lot of it comes down to just good fertility management. So if farmers can do a better job with overall fertility management, feeding the crop, properly with the right nutrients, then we usually don't have major lodging problems, except in the case of very, very severe storms. Well, one thing that uh, fixing all your nutritional problems in the field won't help necessarily is weed control. We'll show you how to control this difficult weed later in the show. <laughs> 